All right, so we are back here. Um, today what we're going to go over is how to move crypto from an external account into your Pinex account. Like I said in my last video, you cannot um, put dollars in here. You can't put fiat currency into Pinex. Um, you can't attach a bank to it, which some people will like, some people won't like. But real quick here, let's get into kind of how to um, how to do this. Now, this is going to be the same for any type of wallet. So if you know how to do stuff like this, um, you, I mean, this video is not really for you. But for those of you that just got your Coinbase account or, you know, a Kraken account or whatever, and you want to move your crypto out of it, <clears throat> then... This is how you do it, and this is really basic for any any um, any crypto movement or transaction pretty much in existence. This is how it goes. So you're going to want to click on your thing up here. Um, I'm not going to because it's going to show my email address and all that other information. Um, but click this up here. It's going to drop down. You'll hit deposit. What happens is then you can come here. You can click which coin you want to deposit. Now, if you're new to this, you'll know there are things called um, transaction fees or gas fees or other things like that certain ones have very very high fees so you need to be watching um, for that so you don't get burned on those some of them have very low fees now Bitcoin has a pretty low fee each one's different I can't really say what it is exactly but Bitcoin takes about 40 minutes to to move money um, it has to move along the blockchain um, if you don't know what a blockchain is, I suggest you watch some other videos kind of to explain that. I'm not going to get into that here, um, but essentially it you move money and it goes from block to block to block to block and it gets to you each way along the block is verifying or validating that that's a real transaction. Um, today we're just going to pick Ethereum. Ethereum has a pretty high transfer fee um, called gas fees or Ether. So... It's a little bit, um, you know, might not be for small transactions. That's another thing. If you're doing transactions, try to move as much as you can move in one. Because if you do little transactions, it's going to take longer because it's not as, um, it's not as worth it for those mining to do small transactions than to do big ones. So we'll do Ethereum here. It shows me my total balance. This is tied up in a bot right now. We're not going to get into bots in this video, but this is what we're looking at. We have an address here. Okay, it's going to show us this address. These addresses can be public. Um, they're not a big deal. What I do like about Pionex and some other exchanges, in order to do any kind of address movement, if I want to move anything outside of my address, outside of my wallet, sorry, to another address, I need to do a two-step verification. Two-step verification is I'm verified by logging into my Pinex account, and then I have to log into a verification, a Google verification on my phone that I use my fingerprint to get into, and then it pulls up a ever-changing code that changes every 30 seconds, which is tied to this Pinex account. Every 30 seconds, there's a new six-digit code that comes out, and then I put that code in, and if that code falls within the same code in that 30 seconds, then it lets me do that transaction. So it's extremely safe. In order to hack into this, you would literally have to physically have my phone and my fingerprint and be able to be on this account also at the same time and get that code that changes every 30 seconds. Um, in theory, I could show you a code in this video and it wouldn't matter, but I'm just not going to do that. So this is the address. We can simply copy it. I always recommend copying it because there are a lot of different numbers here. It is very hard to make sure you've got the right one. Also, there is a QR code that you can scan with your phone or whatever wallet you're um, doing with. And this is a great way if you have a small business or something and you want to accept cryptocurrency, you can just leave this out there for people to scan and drop crypto directly in. So we're going to go to Coinbase Pro over here, which is another one of my accounts that I have. Um, you know, If you have a Coinbase account, I highly recommend getting Coinbase Pro. Um, it's the same thing. You don't pay any money for it. You just have to do it on a desktop or laptop you uh, basically set up an account it automatically links to your coinbase account 
and then you don't get charged really really heavy fees when you want to buy or sell or trade um, crypto on Coinbase Pro it's like a point it's like a half a percent um, so this is where I do all my trading this is where you can um, kind of get into just real quick if you want to do limit sells limit buys stops everything like that gives you a lot of good information the candles and everything simple just stuff that Coinbase you know the the um, the app on your phone just simply doesn't do so I like this so what we do here um, let's go back to that so we go to portfolios um, what we do here is we're going to hit withdraw okay and then we're gonna click um, on Ethereum. Now I don't have any Ethereum to withdraw. So 35 network confirmations. This is what we're gonna pick. This is those blockchains that it moves back and forth to. We're gonna click that, okay? Default portfolio, this is how much I have in this portfolio. I have zero in here. What I would do is I would take this Ethereum address. This is the address that we're sending it to right here. We'd copy that, go over here, paste it there use this address a good exchange will let you know if this is a valid address or not if it doesn't tell you that then maybe you want to be working with a different exchange everyone I work with pretty much lets you know between coinbase um, Kraken whatever they'll let you know click your max amount and then it's going to tell you the network fee now the network fee is in Ethereum okay so if you want to know how much this costs you're going to have to actually pull up a calculator and do some in the moment because they're ever changing um, values in the moment value of this fee um, which it will take out of the amount that you put in you do that you click withdraw okay once you do that you will go over to your withdrawals these are withdrawals that I've done um, in the past whether they're you know going to or from Coinbase, uh, you know, certain wallets or whatever. But what it's going to do is it's going to tell you completed, if it's obviously complete, but it's going to say pending. Pending means it's in that blockchain. Okay. What it's going to do, it's going to go through the 35 confirmations. Over here, it will say deposit history, and I have only show current coin because I just don't want to pull up all my other wallets and stuff. Um, it will show deposit history. It's going to tell you the status. It's going to say 0 of 35, 5 of 35, whatever. Ethereum takes about 5 minutes to move money, which is fantastic if you want to move money from, you know, all over the world, whatever. Um, and then that's how you move money from one to the other. And when it's in there, you'll click over here. Like I said, I'm not going to click that. And it's going to just automatically pop up in your balance. Then you can go to trade and then we can start doing stuff with our Ethereum. And that is um, how we move crypto from one exchange to another exchange or even one wallet to another wallet. Um, pretty basic stuff. You will have to be able to do this to use the Pionex system. Again, you cannot put a regular bank account, a fiat currency into this. Some people will like that, some people won't. Um, all right, guys, so I'm just starting to do these videos. I'm trying to get a little bit better with them, a little bit faster. Bear with me um, on some of the editing and stuff like that. Should get better with time. Thank you very much. Click, click subscribe if you like it or if you want to kind of follow along with what I'm doing here. Thank you very much.